Yeah, I mean, I think it'll sink in. Um, but they're a heck of a team. I mean, they played an amazing ball game. And um, again, it just gives you things you got to work on. I think this feeling right here is really what you got to remember to motivate you going forward. And then, you know, I'll be going into year six. Um, we've won the division four years in a row. Um, made the playoffs all five years of my career, but still feels nowhere near satisfying. So um, I think it's important to be grateful for where you're at because there's guys I came into the league with that haven't even touched the playoffs yet. Um, so you can't be, I guess you can't discount what you've already accomplished so far, but at the same time, you know, everyone has that goal of winning a Super Bowl. And at the end of the day, there's one team out of 32 that gets to do that. but. This feeling of just coming up short um, is important to, uh, I think, just marinate and motivate you for next year. Would you like to see Joe Brady come back as offensive coordinator for the job he did? Absolutely love Joe. Um, he came in at a point where it was, you know, it, w there was a lot of um, question marks on how our season was going to go. We were 6-6. Six and six. I think I saw somewhere where we had a 0.1% <laughs> chance to get the two seed. Um, and he did an incredible job. He's got all the love and respect of everyone on this offense. Um, and I know I can speak confidently for everyone. Um, he loves us. We love him. He loves watching us party in the end zone. Um, he creates confidence in everybody. Um, it was very, very fun to be a part of his offense over the last few weeks. Hey, Dawson, when you came back from your injury, what kind of feel did you get about how you and Dalton can be worked out there together and open things up for each other moving forward? Yeah, I mean, Dalton's obviously an incredible player. Um, it was so fun playing with him this year. He's wise beyond his years. Um, and on the field, you can't tell that he's a rookie. Um, but I think just the more explosive, the more versatile parts you can have on the field at the same time, the better off the offense is going to be. Um, so now I think we're going to really, we're going to truly have a full year to prepare um, with both of us to kind of utilize I think both of us in, in a system together. So I think, you know, last year, obviously, we weren't really sure who we were drafting. And then it's kind of like a crash course. He's a rookie. His head's been spinning. He's coming off a of college season. But now going into year two for him um, and having a whole year to kind of create a new identity, um, I think is going to be huge. When, when you reflect about... on that for you going into year two, what can you help him with to say, hey, first year is so tough with the off season you have. You don't know where you're going to live, all those kinds of things, and how much it helped you. How can you help him now? Oh, yeah. Um, I'll be there for him, whatever he needs. Um, he's already got, you know, some good setups for his offseason. But I think first and foremost, the most important thing is just to step away for a minute. Um, if you try to go straight back into working out or if you kind of just hone in on where you came up short or things you can do differently and just keep thinking about football 24-7, eventually you're going to hit a breaking point. So I think it's important to step away. Um, take a deep breath, let your body recover, um, and just mentally prepare yourself to uh, just chill and get ready for next year. Dustin, you talked about the feeling of coming up short. Is it a little bit of a Groundhog Day feeling coming up short again, obviously at the hands of Kansas City? Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, I think it's just a testament to them, too, what they've been able to do. Um, I think they've gone to the AFC Championship every year um, since I've been in the league. Um, so just... You know, they're at that top of that mountain that we want to be at. So um, in order to be the best, you got to be the best. And I think, you know, next season we definitely want to be that team. So um, definitely a little Groundhog's Day feeling, and I can't really put my finger on one thing or one particular thing we could have done differently. But um, we got all the talent in the world, and I know that this team's going to be motivated as ever. Um, coming off of this one. You mentioned versatility. The offense used a lot of different personnel as the season went on. Just what did you think of your role in the offense? Um, I think I was able to work on my blocking a lot. Um, I feel as confident as ever um, in that run game. Um, and I think just the more time on task you have, the better off you're going to be. So um, I, I do appreciate that from that standpoint. I try to look at that silver lining. Um, but I also do want to be more involved in the passing game um, going forward, but we got we have plenty of time to work on that. And it's one of those things where, you know, when we're winning games, I don't want anything to change. I've always had the mindset: if you if you tell me we're winning the Super Bowl next year and I'm going to have zero targets the whole year, um, I'll take that. So, I think it's all about just doing what you can to help the team win. And for me, these last few games, it was blocking. So, um, I do want to be a versatile player that can run, catch routes 
also block DNs, do what I need to do to help the team win. But um, I'm excited to keep expanding on the role. What element did you see James Cook add to the to the offense as the season kept going on? Yeah, it was just it was so fun to see his confidence just continuing to build. Um, He's just such an explosive player. It's awesome. Just so smooth, very calm, cool, collected all the time. You know, he'll have a huge game-winning touchdown and just kind of be stoic. Um, so it's fun to get him excited, see him backflipping in the end zone. Um, he's going to the Pro Bowl this year, so everyone's super excited for him. He deserves it. Um, also another player that we're really excited to see continuing to work on what he's been doing. Not just on the offense, but there's a lot of free agents. There's a lot of guys. The reality of change is pretty real. As someone who's been there with a lot of those guys in this room, how do you kind of head into this offseason with the mindset of knowing that things could be pretty different in there? Yeah, I think that's just one thing that you can think about a lot and it can kind of monopolize your mindset if you let it, but it's one of those things you can't control. Um, you know, <laughs> every year the team's different. Every year there's guys get traded, released, sign new guys. Um, so it's impossible to know. And that is, that's probably the hardest part of ending a season is knowing that this locker room won't be the same as it was this year. Um, you know, I think this locker room's as close as any team I've ever been a part of. Um, so it's hard, but um, it's just something you can't spend too much time thinking about or worrying about because it's out of your hands. Josh produced, I think, 50 or 51 touchdowns, most in the league. Uh, you know, like yesterday, he laid it all out there. What do you think about what, what are your feelings toward him about what he produced and still fell short? Yeah, I mean, he's a absolute warrior, man. There's no one else I'd rather play with and. I pray that I get to spend the rest of my career playing with him. Um, I think there's not a single person on this team that wouldn't say the same. I mean, every game he's got blood and cuts and bruises, literally putting his body on the line every single play for all of us. Um, so it just, I mean, he really is a warrior, a modern day gladiator. Um, and just, it's fun being on his team.